What is up viewers, Omar here and here I'm gonna tell you a story of this one time that I got screwed in this game known as Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, it's, it's, just, it's just so frustrating knowing that you're right and your opponent is wrong and and you still lose the argument, you lose the debate just because you were outnumbered because people take the opponent's side and I'm gonna give more standards because it's serious it's frustrating when you know you're 100% correct and you're at locals uh, playing against some random guy and who's who's apparently some kind of pro player, which I don't know if that's a thing. Some kind of pro player, how he does tournaments, all this stuff, and uh, and doesn't know how chains go. And it's, it's kind of frustrating. And, and well, with that said, I'll explain what happened. I was playing my rogue deck, my casual deck. I'm gonna say it was Ray Raptors. I don't remember what deck I was playing at the time. Yeah, but I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna say Ray Raptors. That was my thing. He was playing he was playing some kind of dragon deck because I remember his deck being very aggressive and dragon based. So so yeah, and um so what he had he had a field of 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 uh, a field of dragons plus a face up world decree. Which, if y'all don't know what that does, World Decree basically just says negates all other trap cards on the field. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty standard. Uh, you might see it in, in the side deck and now and then, maybe a main deck, but this dude main deck, World Decree, because he knew traps just ruined his deck. And my two face down cards was, was Mirror Force, the OG Mirror Force, and the MST. Yeah, keep in mind, uh, this was years ago, you know. MST was still around <laughs> in every deck. Uh, too bad it's been kind of crept out. I mean, I still think it, I, I still think it has its uses, but yeah, it's been kind of crept out, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, so so I have my feel some monsters to I guess defend my life point just just so I wouldn't lose that turn. He went and he proceeded he proceeded to attack me. I mean, obviously, uh, he, he doesn't care if, if I have a face down Mirror Force only because he had a face down World Decree. So, obviously, that didn't matter to him. But then, but then, as soon as he attacked me, I'm sorry, as soon as he declared his attack, I activated my Mirror Force and then chained my MST targeting his World Decree. Now, if for y'all, now for all of you that, that don't know how this resolves, uh, Mirror Force is chaining one and MST is chaining two. Therefore, chain results backwards. MST destroys World Decree, and then Mirror Force will just destroy his field, his field of dragons, just because World Decree is. Because as soon as Mirror Force resolves, World Decree is no longer on the field. So, boom, there you go. Uh, field open. I'm, I'm now. I, 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 I remember this point in time. I had a handful of cards that I could make a that could make a push and just go for a game. Just and like yes, I got you, sucker. But no, but then my opponent then but then my opponent then argued with me saying saying how I couldn't even activate Mirror Force to begin with because of World Decree. Which World Decree doesn't negate I mean, I'm sorry, uh, World Decree doesn't prevent me from activating trap cards, it just negates them during resolution. Which yeah. Now for those who don't know, the uh, the best card I can describe this is part of a card like Jinzo, which, which I mean, obviously I can't see Jinzo in this video, you know. It, it, I can't do magic right now, but I'm pretty sure Jinzo says that 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 trap cards can be activated. Period, which is different from World Decree. I mean, Decree Decree states that uh, trap cards are only negated. It doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't prevent me from playing trap cards. So we went back and forth. Uh, his dude called his friend. Uh, keep in mind, like. Um, um, Back then, uh, actually uh, now, I mean, uh, I don't really go to locals anymore. But back then, when I when I did go to locals, I would um I was more casual. Like like I wouldn't enter the tournaments, the kind of stuff. I mean, I would still play amongst people. Like don't, don't get me wrong, but I was uh, but I was more than just to hang out. It was it's basically my hangout spot, hangout spot back in the day. What I would do is just talk to friends, hang out, talk about other stuff, and and play a card game here and there, trade. You know, just. Just that sort of thing. So, so this dude came up to me playing. Yeah, whatever, I'll play. Yeah, like, yeah, like uh, I haven't said no to a game because uh, whatever. If, if I if I if I get crushed, then who cares, right? And if I win, 
it was good. But so 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 what ended what ended up happening was was this was this guy called his friend over, and he explained to him, and and he explained to him what was going on. How so? The question was, could I activate a trap card if Rose Decree is on the field? And his friend, who who also played uh, Yu-Gi-Oh competitively, competitively, there you go. He always, he, always, he always told me that I couldn't activate the trap cards when Decree is on the field, which which now it negates the trap card, but I'm still free to activate them. So yeah, so we're going for it. And then and then the guy continued to call over another judge, which was conveniently also another friend of his. Uh, and I'm... Um, um, I don't know why it mattered if you called the judge because he was not even judge for Yu-Gi-Oh. He was a judge for Magic or 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 some other card game, which made no sense. So his input, so his input, made no sense to me because yeah, you call yourself a judge, but you're a judge of a different game. That's like getting an getting an umpire from baseball and have him ref an NFL game. It makes no sense because it's two different games. I mean, I don't I don't understand why. Why, why he's that? Why we should take his word? It's because, yeah, I mean, don't around like, 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 I'll, like, I'll have to hit, I'll, I'll listen, to, I'll listen to his opinion, but him being a judge of no game means nothing to me in this situation. So then, so, so this guy judge, uh, what kept pissing me off is that he kept saying, "Oh, trust me, I'm a judge. Mirror Force cannot be activated when decrees on the field." Uh. Trust, trust you. You're a judge. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what what court, what what kind of judge Judy you are. I mean, but that makes no sense to me. So, what happened was was I was the only guy. Apparently, I I mean, I mean, not only got in the shop, but I but I I but I basically felt like the only guy in the shop who actually who actually trained cards correctly, while these other competitive players kept telling me. I can't do this, even though I've actually read that that stupid uh, thin paperback rule book that's in every starter deck. You know, you know, Tyra, how the one that actually explains to you the rules of the game, uh, as much as as complex as complicated they are. I, I did, I did read that stuff. So yeah, so I, I knew how chains work. I knew how to activate and resolve my cards, and and I and 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 I have a fair understanding about how cards interact with each other. So I mean, yeah, so. I was just so unnumbered, and and I, apparently no one took my side. So I was like, I was like, all right. Again, <laughs> there was just a casual game. There was nothing on the line. I was, it wasn't even a tournament, none of that. But the fact that I just got outnumbered by his people, who just who just kept backing up his friend. I mean, shouldn't we play this game by the rules, by how by how by how it should go? Just follow the rulings of these games, and. And and me just some guy playing some rogue deck. I mean, what what can't I know the rules of the game? I mean, it's weird. Yeah, even though I don't own every expensive card out there. And to be fair, if I do pull those from a box, which I did in my in my dark service video, you should, you should go watch that. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll sell them off because hell yeah, profit, money, buy some buy some other stuff that I that I want to get, invest in cards that I actually want for myself that I actually think are decent. And just, just people, just <laughs> it, it, like it just really frustrated me. Frustrated me that 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 they keep saying decree prevents me from activating trap cards, even though decree doesn't say that. Decree just says negates the effects, not not prevent activation or can activate or or something along those lines. I mean, well, unless decree got some kind of errata that I don't know about. But other than that, no, <laughs> uh, it was just, it was, no, no, that really ruined my day just because, because, uh, oh, you know what, okay, whatever, so Decree can activate, so I put my cards back face down, he attacked me for the flat points, I, I, I could, I just could not come back from that game, I, I, I couldn't come back just because of the fact that I had to follow this rule now that I can't, I can't activate, I, that I couldn't activate Mirror Force, so, yeah, so, uh, the game went on for like, Point, point, like, point on like two or three turns, but I eventually lost just because of the fact that I couldn't come back. Like I really needed that middle force play to go through for me to actually make my push, and 
and I'm pretty sure looking back, he had a he had a low hand count. So he was so so he would he would have been in a tough spot if his monster got destroyed, which it should have been. But no, but no. I'm thinking I should I should probably do a video. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, this wasn't recent at all. Uh, th this was like some like some years ago. So a, a few a few years ago. I'm not sure when. I, I won't say three. Maybe three years ago. Maybe it's just it's just. I mean, I'm pretty sure now people hopefully <laughs> have an understanding about how chains activations resolutions work now i mean that should probably be a video that i should probably commit on doing in the future just because i just don't want people getting screwed over like that and just basically lose and and well i mean even though my argument was valid and true and accurate and 100 percent correct i lost the debate just because i have, have at least three guys on me saying i was wrong and and no one's backed me up because unfortunately uh, all my friends that <laughs> i used to play with yeah, they didn't really know rules at that level. Yeah, I mean, they knew how to play the game, but they didn't know, like, like the advanced rules, I should say. So, so yeah, it was like, well, 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 I guess, I guess I'll, I guess I'll say I'm wrong. I mean, even though I'm totally right, but okay, whatever. So, yeah, so game ended, dude went away, and I went away, and yeah, yeah. The handshake, good game, yeah, whatever, we just went away. Uh, it's just a fresh trip. <laughs> so yeah, so that was that was one time that I got screwed over in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh, all because of these people who who apparently had higher credentials than me, uh, would tell me one thing, and because I was just some guy that just walked into the shop, just, just plays some random some random stuff. Uh, I must not know. I must not know what I'm talking about. I must not know my rulings. I must not know nothing. I must be just some noob, even though I've been playing this game for. For at least ten years or more than that, and I be, and I be, and I do follow the game, and it's just like, well, I mean, well, I can't, well, I mean, I'm a scrub. I'm, I must be a scrub. I must be a scrub. So it's like, oh, it's just, it's frustrating, it really is. But yeah, but that was that was one time of me getting screwed. Uh, name me something. Name, name me something one time. How you got screwed one time? Either in a game, in a trade, or just how, or just screwed in life, basically. Because Yu-Gi-Oh is life, and and if you get if you get screwed in Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, you get screwed in life. So yeah, there it is. I'm done. I'm out of here. See you next time. Peace.